What's up guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be installing a new oil separator uh, from the Cobra. So j &L kindly sent over a driver side oil separator. I have an oil, a very old oil separator that 17 uh, year old Kyle uh, installed and it's not in a great spot. It's kind of hard to get to. So uh, we're gonna be putting this one. It kind of brings it to the front of the engine, a little bit cleaner look, a little bit easier to get to. Um, so big shout out to them for sending this in uh, for the video and uh, we're just gonna be putting it in the car. All right, let's open the sucker up. Oh, nice. Set, sent me some koozies. Very cool, thank you guys. And a nice t-shirt. Excellent. That was nice of them. I'll go ahead and, uh, oh yeah. Very nice. Looks sweet. Nice aluminum. So it's just unscrews. Then you have your little container there. They got a little bit of, uh, I wonder if you got baffling or something, but this just helps the uh, oil drop down into the canister, which is cool. So got that, and then we got some mounting accessories. We got a nice mount here, and a couple of extra fittings. So we'll go ahead and get this thing installed. Alrighty guys, just finished up with the install here. So the hoses run alongside here. And then this guy, this little hose here, I had set up from the other filter that I had mounted here. So this is probably gonna be a little bit different if you just had the factory set up, but that worked out really well for me. And then the other one, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, right down in there to so get rid of that big, ugly plastic pipe and you just get these nice uh, hoses. So yeah, so I also zip tied these with these zip ties that have the little bit of the rubber on the inside here and here. And then they're also, uh, you can take them off. So if I ever need to get to the injectors or anything uh, along the side of the supercharger here, I can just undo this and uh, get this out of the way, which is pretty nice, but I like the, the way it looks nice and clean. It's uh, a little tight with the snub idler. If you don't have a snub idler, you got like a stock setup, uh, plenty of room. One thing I did do is I bumped over the power steering, uh, this little grommet here. It used to be over here, so I just kind of shifted it this way, and uh, that gave me plenty of clearance 
uh, for both the power steering reservoir and then the new uh, filter or the oil separator so but yeah i like the way it looks it looks really good nice quality and uh we'll just undo it here so nice and easy and uh i really liked that they reused just that stock uh, nut down there, and then they have this nice aluminum piece that kind of comes up. Really a nice, clean uh, look to it. And it's up at the front of the motor, so you kind of remember to empty it. I don't, this one's a little bit bigger of a reservoir than the one I used to have. Um, I never really filled mine up. Uh, I live in an area where summers are not very long, so I usually would just empty it either at the start of the season or right before I put the car away. Uh, in the garage and uh, usually it would be you know maybe not even a quarter full so not too bad but uh, this one's a little bit bigger so if you do drive your car a lot you probably don't have to empty it as much as the old style yeah very nice so plenty of clearance on the snub idler as you can see plenty of clearance there and uh, yeah so anyway guys, big thank you to JNL for sending me out that oil separator. Very nice of them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you don't have an oil separator, definitely get one um, on your car. You don't want uh, all that oil from the crankcase getting vented back into your intake and, you know, clogging things up and, you know, burning off uh, the oil. So definitely get one of those and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch, guys. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.